dear students how are you hope you are keeping fine and safe and you all are staying at home and you know due to covid 19 pandemic we cannot take the normal classes as usual and so we have to take online classes and uh, we think uh, you will enjoy the classes taken in the online and uh, learn the certain topic and uh, dear students we are going to take english class of class 8 today and uh, our today's topic is transformation of sentence dear students uh, let's look at the board and uh, i'm going to write two sentences number a his father is poor Number B, my friend goes to school regularly. Okay, my dear students, uh, firstly, I want to ask you a question. There are two sentences written on the board and uh, can you tell me what kind of sentence uh, are uh, these two sentences certainly these two sentences are affirmative sentence and if we write this sentence in this way his father is not rich and for the sentence number b if you write my friend does not go to school irregularly so now the question is what type of sentence are the second two sentences uh, for the sentence number a his father is not rich and for the sentence number b my friend does not go to school irregularly what is your answer certainly the answer will be negative sentence so my dear students uh, today we are going to learn about transformation of sentence and today's portion is affirmative to negative dear students i am hopeful that you have already learned about the sentence kinds and their assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative optative and exclamative sentence and you all know the definition of affirmative and negative sentence and and so we uh, don't have enough time to discuss the uh, previous topic so we are directly going to the affirmative to negative so at first i'm writing some sentences on the board firstly number a only allah can save the people from covid-19 pandemic number b i am only 20 number c he has 
only he has only a son number d you took only a packet of sugar number e he has only two friends dear students look at the first sentence that is only allah can save the people from covid-19 pandemic and uh, here is a word only in the second sentence there is also only in the third sentence there is also only in the fourth sentence there is also only and in the fifth sentence there is also only so we can say that in every sentence written on the board there is a word which is only but to change all the sentences written on the board into negative sentences we have to change only into different uh, words for the first one we have to write none but we have to write none but instead of only because only indicate all so you can uh, understand the rule uh, if we see only in a sentence and uh, where only indicate only indicates almighty god allah uh, or any person then we have to use none but instead of only so the sentence will be none but allah can save the people from covid-19 pandemic go to the second sentence i am only 20 here 20 refers to age so you know when only refers to age we have to use not more than or not less than certainly we have to use not more than or not less than i am not more than 20 so is it clear to you yes he has only a son he has only a son here only refers to a person the person is a son so what will you use instead of only yes the answer will be none but he has none but a son in the fourth sentence you took only a packet of sugar here only refers to a thing that is a packet of sugar so we have to use nothing but instead of only you took nothing but you took nothing but a packet of sugar now my dear students go to the fifth sentence that is sentence number e he has only two friends so can you tell me uh, what does only refer here exactly only refers to number that is two so we have to use not more than or not less than like eight when we uh, we find 
ace or number followed by uh, when we find number or ace after only we have to use not more than or not less than so the negative sentence will be he has he has not more than two friends okay my dear students we are going to the next sentences and uh, uh, i think or i hope you will uh, understand the lesson so uh, i will erase the writing on the board and uh, we are going to the next sentences dear students now we are going to the sentence number 8 look at the board my younger brother alone went there next sentence number g we must respect our elderly people sentence age the students have to study properly sentence i the driver had to change the road number j both akash and jaman knew the fact dear students now we are going to discuss about five other sentences the first one is my younger brother alone went there you know we previously discussed about the word only and uh, as the word only we can also use uh, the word alone and uh, as the word alone indicate a person we can use none but so there is a difference uh, between alone and only you previously used none but uh, at the place of only but alone indicates my younger brother here you cannot use none but at the place of alone and you have to use none but before the word or words indicated by the word alone so you have to use none but before my younger brother none but my younger brother and you must you must avoid the word alone or you must omit the word alone because we already use uh, none but instead of alone so we have to write the rest of the sentence like this 
So, I repeat, you have to use none but before the word or words indicated by the word alone. And you must be careful here. Now, we have to go to the sentence number G. We must respect our elderly people. Students, you have to use cannot but or could not but instead of must like this. We cannot but respect our elderly people. So I repeat you have to use cannot but at the place of must but there is another way to uh, change the sentence into negative you can use cannot help as uh, you have found uh, in the grammar books already that you can use cannot help so the rule is similar here you can use cannot but at the place of have to at the place of has to also and you can also use cannot help at the place of have to so the sentence will be the students you can use cannot but here but i intentionally uh, are uh, i intentionally use cannot help here because you have to know the two different way the students cannot help and you have to use ing form of the verb the students cannot help studying you can find that there is an ing here there is an ing here the students cannot help studying properly now dear students you will find have to do you know the uh, verb form or the tense of the sentence yes the tense is past so we have to use we have to use could not but here the driver the driver could not but change the road now dear students we are going to sentence number j here both and we have to use not only at the place of both not only where at the place of both and we have to use but also at the place of and dear students i repeat we have to use not only at the place of both and we have to use but also at the place of and so the sentence will be not only akash but also jaman knew the fact now i hope you have learned or you have understood the sentences given on the board and i am going to change the rules so i have to erase the board and i am cleaning the board meanwhile you have already learned or enjoyed the rules discussed and uh, we are going to sentence number k what will happen if two words or two nouns are joined with only and suppose mathematics and physics are my favorite subjects 
students wait and see go to sentence number l everybody wants to succeed in life don't they yes everybody wants to succeed in life next sentence number m every mother loves her children nextly in sentence number n every draws has a thorn and sentence number o and uh, sentence number o he always speak the truth one two three four five five sentences on the board now i'm going to discuss about the first sentence mathematics and physics are my favorite subjects uh, now dear students please remember the sentence number j you have found that there were both and but here two noun namely mathematics and physics are connected or joined with only one conjunction that is and but you have to use not only and but also here according to the rule or sentence number j when two noun or two pronoun are in the place of and where there is and there will be but also but also physics are my favorite subject so not only before the first word and but also before the second word connected by conjunction and everybody wants to succeed in life here the uh, important or key word is every you have to use there is no i repeat there is no at the place of every there is no everybody will be replaced by nobody everybody will be replaced by nobody every will be replaced by no there is nobody and we have to use who does not who does not immediately after there is no plus next word so we have to use who does not and the verb form will not be ses form we have to avoid ses form we must omit s or yes there is nobody who does not want to succeed in life go to the next sentence every so what will you use yes there is no there is no at the place of every there is no mother 
I have written this sentence to show you another rule for every and uh, you can use but you can use but at the place of who does not it's an alternative rule there is no mother but if you use but you can use SES form if you use but you can use SES form there is no mother but loves her children now go to the next sentence or sentence number n every rose has a thorn every rose has a thorn so what will you use yes the answer will be there is no there is no there is no rose but i want to uh, say that there is another rule for the verb has if you find the verb has or have or this kind of verb you will have to use without you have to use without at the place of has there is no rose without without a thorn go to the next sentence he always speaks the truth here he always speaks the truth you have to use never you have to use never at the place of always he never and when we have to use the word lie instead of truth as antonym we have to use the verb tell you must keep it in mind that we can say speak the truth but we cannot say speak speak the lie we have to say tell a lie so we have to use the word or verb tell he never tells as the subject is he or third person singular you know as uh, the right form of verb so uh, you have to use tells he never tells a lie so students i think or i hope that uh, you will be able to understand all the uh, rules presented here now we are going to the next sentences Now the sentence number will be P. Students, if I write, you are an honest boy. You are an honest boy. next next the sentence will be he dislikes he dislikes folk songs next sentence number r i i do my works sincerely sentence number S. Sentence number S will be by working hard, you can prosper. in life 
sentence number T the sun rises in the east go to the sentence number P you are an honest boy here the underlined word is honest do you know what is the partial speech of the word yes the partial speech is adjective so you can use not plus antonym of the adjective if you find any adjective which uh, has any antonym you can use not plus antonym you are not you are not a dishonest boy so the question is why I have put the article a why I have put article a because the first letter of the adjective dishonest is D so I have to put the article a go to the next sentence he dislikes he dislikes folk songs here the underlined word or key word is dislikes and here you have to use the antonym of the verb that is like but as we are going to change the sentence into negative one we have to use not and here the keyword is a verb and we have to use does not we have to use does not as the word is uh, action an action verb so we have to use does not he does not and the antonym for the word dislike is like he does not like and the rest of the sentence for songs go to the sentence number r i do my works sincerely here the underlined word is sincerely which is a keyword for this sentence and the antonym for this word is insincerely you know the antonym of the word is insincerely here i have to use i don't or i do not do my works insincerely so we can say that for these three sentence we are using antonyms we are using antonyms here so you have to learn the antonyms of different words from your respective books now we are going to the sentence number s by plus bar plus ing and other words if you find by you have to use without at the place of by you have to use without without working hard and the negative form of the bar given in the uh, next portion you cannot where you find can you have to use cannot or the negative form of the verb will be used you cannot prosper in life now dear students I repeat at the place of by you have to use without and the verb will be in negative form the verb will be in negative form go to the sentence number t do you find any clue here exactly the answer will be no the sun rises in the east this sentence can't be changed in the rules discussed previously you have to use another rule here that is you have to change this sentence into negative interrogative you know all the sentences can be affirmative or negative so if you use negative and interrogative that will also be a negative you know present indefinite and you have to use the auxiliary verb 
does here as the subject is in third person singular number so you have to use does as the auxiliary verb and you have to use n apostrophe t to make it negative that means doesn't then the subject will be put that is the sun doesn't the sun and the verb form will not be a cs form i repeat the verb form will not be a cs form and you have to use only the main verb or base form of verb doesn't the sun rise in the east and at last you cannot put full stop you must put question mark here because the sentence is not only negative but also interrogative as the sentence is negative interrogative you must put question mark instead of full stop i think and i hope you all have enjoyed the rules for affirm affirmative to negative and uh, you must study the rules at home and you have to exercise sentences from your textbook and other practice books so uh, that's all from today's class we'll uh, enjoy the uh, next classes i hope so students don't be frustrated don't be disappointed and we hope that we shall overcome this crisis situation and we'll we'll be back in the schools very soon so dear students uh goodbye and everybody uh you have to stay safe and stay sound by staying at home and uh, that's all from me for today's class allah Hafiz.